Welcome everyone, it's good to see you once more. In this week's episode, we'll be taking a deep dive into the archives of images long forgotten. Simply to enjoy the art of post-processing through past memorable experiences. So let's get started. So today's video was supposed to be an outdoor video. However, it is just cold out. It is damp. It's wet. It's one of those days where it's just not fun to be outside. You know, it, it's that type of weather that just cuts to the bone. You just can't get warm. And so I decided I'll do an indoor video on something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I encourage you to give this a shot as well if you haven't already. And that is to dig deep into the archives, maybe from an experience or a memorable trip you've had to go through those images and try and find something that you may not have recognized, but it may be speaking to you differently. It's a fresh look on, on images you've made years ago. And what you've seen back then during the trip or just shortly after may not necessarily speak to you the same way it does now, right? Because we change, we develop, we get better at our craft, and we see differently. And by reviewing images that you haven't looked at in years, for example, you may see something different in them. They may shed some new light on those images. And so I think it's perfect for a day like this. So let's get into this and um, let's have a little fun with this. All right, so for me today, I decided I wanted to dig into my New Zealand images. It's funny because I was looking at a trip I took uh, years ago with my camera club uh, in New York City on the High Line. It was a wonderful experience and I almost, almost decided to play with a little of these images. But you know what, for years now um, I've been wanting to look at my New Zealand uh, photos. So 2019 of December, so what, four years ago maybe? Three, four years ago? Uh, but I wanted to particularly look at these Meraki, Meraki boulders here. Now this is quite a phenomenon. This is um, these boulders that sort of come out of the cliffside and the bluff and they, uh, over thousands and thousands of years, they form almost in this perfect round like um, shape and they're just so mysterious and they sort of just fall out of the bluff and they just roll into the sea and they have this crazy mysterious otherworldly look to them. This particular type of scenery is constantly changing. So the background, the sky was moving fast, but even more so, we're, we're, we're on the shoreline, right? This is the ocean. So it is in a constant, constant change of scenery. And that means that every single time you release the shutter, you're making a different image, even if you haven't adjusted your focal length or moved your tripod, you know? And so a perfect example here would be, let's take, um, uh, well, let's take these guys right here. So we can clearly see this is all the same composition. So we'll take this shot. Let's hold down my shift. And now we're going to hit the N for survey. We'll bring these up. So same composition. But as we can see, every image is, is been a different image telling a different story just by, you know, dragging the shutter differently. And so you can see uh, this image right here is what I ended up uh, processing. Uh, and this right here is an image that I had made and I finished in Illuminar Neal. And that's what I want to do today is I'm going to show you how you can add some more uh, mysterious attributes to your images with some subtleties, um, editing in Lightroom and then finishing up in Luminar Neal. In fact, let's compare these two images here. So if I hold down my command on a Mac, control on a Windows, and then I hit C for compare, I can bring up both of the both of these images. So the one on the left is uh, the finished image in Luminar Neo, and the one on the right is uh, most of the edits in Lightroom before finishing up in Luminar Neo. If I hit the tab key, we can uh, hide the, the side panels and you can get a little bit more real estate to really dig in if you want. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is take this original image up here, G for guide, and I wanna create a virtual copy because I don't want to lose this, these edits, so I'll right click and I'll go down to uh, create virtual copy, which I believe is right here. And that will create a spitting image of what I have without the extra storage space. Back to G. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reset these settings. I can do this from the library tab 
the panel, or I can do it from the develop. It doesn't matter, it does the same thing. Just hit reset. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do was I did want to crop this, this image. I want to get rid of that, so I'll hit the R. I want the mystery of, of this simple image. Um, and I just see it as a wider image. I don't need that much sky in here. I think there's enough information in this sky for me anyway uh, to tell the story without having to add all this extra real estate. You know, it's really about these guys here. So I will give these guys, you know, the two thirds of, of the frame. So they are more important than the sky. This, um, so yeah, so something like this looks really good, good to me. I do want to remove that and I want to keep these centerized. For this image and, and the storytelling I'm trying to tell, it's more about the mystery, right? There's enough visuals in here that I don't think I need much color. But I do see this more as a monochrome image, maybe just hints of color. I'm not sure yet, but that's the joy of post-processing. So I am going to remove a lot of the color from this image. So what I may do here is switch over to black and white. And see, already I like that. And what I think I'll do is I'll just go ahead and say, let's do an auto and see what that looks like. Doesn't look too bad. So what I want to quickly do with this image is use some of the, uh, Lightroom's new masking features and see if it can identify the, the uh, subject here, which is obviously the Meraki boulders. So we're going to go into mask and we're going to go ahead and pick a subject and we'll see if it, and it does. Look at that, easy peasy, love it. So we're going to take that and what I want to do with these is I actually want to raise some of the highlights in here and see what that does, all right? And I want to maybe lower the contrast. I'm trying to bring out the rocks a little bit more and some of their textures. So we'll see how this works out. Bring up the lights. I want to bring the shadows down without losing my lights. So I'll bring some more whites up, a tad bit exposure. And let's just quickly see what this looks like. Yeah, I think they made a little bit more contrast here. So we'll do something like that, bring in some texture, a little clarity. This is about the most of the edits I'm going to do on this. I might do something in the sky, but again, that's really my subject. All right, so that's pretty good for now. We'll save that and we'll create another mask and we'll just use a brush. And this time, again, I am going to bring out some highlights and I want some clarity maybe and I just want to just brush in right where this light is already. Just bring that out a little bit more. Something like that. Pretty good. Just really try to accentuate some of the some of the highlights on these on these boulders from the natural light. Alright, that's pretty good right there. Now we'll just do a sky really quick. <clears throat> and we'll just make that a little bit more moody here. So I'm gonna bring down the highlights. I'm gonna bring up the contrast. Tad bit of clarity maybe in here. We'll see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And maybe just bring those shadows down to make it a little bit moody. Bring up the whites. Nope, I'm gonna blow that out. Be careful on that, because right here um, I'm losing a little, little data. Let's just see what that looks like. That's not bad at all. That looks kind of moody. That's basically what I'm looking for. So now, this is where Luminar Neo comes, comes in handy. Luminar Neo and Luminar 4, for that matter, have these enhancement features, these subtle enhancement features that you just can't find in Lightroom. And if, if they're used accordingly or, or they're used respectfully and not overdone, they can really give you the enhancement you're looking with a matter of just a few clicks. And so I want a soft feel to this. I want a mysterious feel to this. And I know exactly the two I want to use in Luminar. So let's go into Luminar. I'm going to right click in here and we're going to just bring this over. Uh, Luminar Neo, open, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Bring this up full screen. Let's go into edit. First thing I want to do is go over to my enhance tool. I usually, usually almost hit this first and I just bring in the accent. Now I like to crank this slider so I can see what's happening and then draw back as needed. So we're going to do something, something in this area. We'll also hit the sky enhance because I think we can add a little bit more. Yeah, we'll do something like that. All right, four after. Already gave me a little bit of what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to go down to the mystical adjustment here and this is exactly what I'm looking for here. So I want to add a nice soft feel to this. I'm going to crank this, let it render. 
Let's see what I got here. All right, I'm going to bring this back. I'm thinking somewhere around here, maybe. Before, after. Okay, so that's not too bad. That softened this image quite a bit and gave me that sort of mystical look I'm looking for. However, it did take away all the clarity and the texture of my rock. So let's try a masking here. Ignore the AI in this case and just use a brush and do it this way. Because I wouldn't mind getting a little bit beyond the rocks just to just to keep them. All right, this looks pretty good. There we go. All right, that's not too bad. A little bit sloppy, but again, I'm trying to move this along here. So we take our masking, get out our brush, mask actions, and invert that. So now we can see what we've done here. All right, so now we can see everything is soft except the rocks. That's exactly what I wanted to do here. All right. So that's good there. Now, the other thing I want to do is I may want to uh, hit these uh, Meraki uh, boulders again with, um, I'm thinking something like the structure might work good. All right, and we just hit this really quick, see what it's doing. Yeah, I think this will actually work. All right, so we'll do this. Now, this is adjusting globally, but I'm just looking at the rocks now. I'm sort of getting an idea if I'm going to use this tool. And I do. So now we'll go into masking and again I'm going to brush and this time we're just going to apply to the rocks like we did but we're not going to invert because we want this to affect the boulders and nothing else. All right again I'm doing this a little bit sloppy but you get the idea here. All right so now let's see what we have. That was before. That's uh, now that's bringing out the boulders. You know, the idea behind this is, is to enjoy the process and just have a little fun with this again on a rainy damp day or whatever um, you just want to just just soak it in just enjoy the moments right make sure you set some time aside you know silence all your devices and then you're you're just immersing yourself into the into the moments and enjoying and you may even be reliving some of the moments from that experience because that's what it's all about anyway right and experiences i encourage you to try this with some of your old images all right, anyway, let's just take a look at uh, what this looks like. That was from Lightroom when I bought it in. And this is now the edits I made in Luminar Neo. And I'll tell you what, that is pretty good. I like this Relight tool right here. I'll tell you what, I'll quickly hit it before we move, move on. And what I want to do is I just want to see what this brightness near is going to do here. All right, so that might bring me up into the rocks a little bit. Let's see what that, I can bring the sky down a little bit, or I'm going to bring the sky down a tad bit right here. All right, so that's averting, that's, that's bringing this down, averting more light into my subject. That's just what I want. It's very subtle, but it's just kind of what I wanted. I didn't want to have the eye come in and then just, just go right out of the frame, but sort of keep you in this area and look at what the heck is going on in here, that kind of thing. We're just going to apply it and bring it back into Lightroom. And this is my new Luminar Neo um, edit. But you can see this image right here, the first one I did a few weeks ago. It has more of that, you know, that metallic look to it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, but now we can just quickly look at, if I hit Command or Control, and then I hit C, I can compare these two images and we can see what I did. You can see, I mean, they're, they're, they're quite similar. Uh, except for the, the except for the tonal colors, I noticed my crop is is a little off from from the, the first one than this one. It looks like I gave this one even even more real estate, and I honestly like this crop a little better than that one. Um, I noticed that there's more texture in my in my boulders here than there than there is in here, and I, I can probably back off a little on that. But in essence, um, that's twice now that I. I edited this image and um, enjoy the process and hope that uh, that you can get inspired to look back at some of your images from some memorable trips you've taken that you may have really enjoyed. Take some time for yourself and enjoy this process. Spring is just around the corner. I did want to share some footage and some upgrades I've done on uh, on my uh, expedition to an O trailer. Uh, the one benefit of uh, buying that 
during the off camping season during the winter is that I was able to start uh, researching and planning and adding some mods and that kind of stuff. So I've been having a lot of fun getting that ready for the season. So I'll be sharing some more of that stuff and um, then we'll go from there. Aside from that, have fun at the computer, look at some of those old images and enjoy immersing yourself into those experiences. Mm -hmm.